What's going on guys, RGT85 here and welcome to another edition of Ask RGT85 where I answer your questions. This week's question comes to us from Connor Lindsay, aka 64 bit for life He has a channel on YouTube, does some video game related stuff, kind of a funny kid. Make sure you check him out, I'll put his uh, channel in the description box below. Basically, Connor asked me, was Metroid Prime Federation Force as bad as I made it out to be? Now, for you, those of you guys who don't know, I am also editor-in-chief at NintendoEnthusiast.com and part of Enthusiast.gg, which is what we're kind of migrating to. I'll talk about that in a future video, though. But basically, Nintendo, you know, sends us games. We are on Metacritic, and we get to review a lot of games, and I decided to review Metroid Prime Federation Force, and I gave it a low score, um, possibly the lowest on Metacritic, and one of the lower score, you know, one of the low scores that's out there. And I got some feedback from it. Um, uh, some positive feedback, some people understood where I was coming from, and a bit of negative feedback. So I kind of wanted to address, you know, whether the game is as bad as I made it out to be. And honestly, I feel that it is for a few key reasons. Some people actually questioned my review style on this, but I, I did that deliberately. I'm gonna put a link to my review in the description box below. But basically, a lot of people are saying that I reviewed the game for what it should have been and not what it actually was. And in this situation, I don't think that's necessarily true. For one main reason, that's because this is a Metroid Prime game. You have to remember, Metroid is not a series. You know, you could say, oh, well, there's a lot of offshoot Pokemon games, Zelda games, Mario games, and I get that. But these are series that have had offshoot games. These are series that have, you know, yearly releases. When is the last time you got a Metroid game? It's been a long time, and there's actually been a Metroid Prime spin-off game before. There's actually two on the DS. You had Metroid Prime Hunters, which was a fantastic game, and Metroid Prime Pinball. So with Metroid Prime Pinball, you know what you're getting. You're getting a pinball game. It says pinball right in the name. It's not like you're expecting a first-person action-adventure game in the Metroid Prime universe. You're getting a pinball game. It says it in the title, whereas with Federation Force, you know, if I'm not someone who's online a lot of the time or, you know, follows games religiously, I don't know what Federation Force means. To me, that means this is a Metroid Prime game. I have no problems with Samus not being the main character of the game. That doesn't bother me. I actually made videos before the game came out over on Nintendo Enthusiast saying to give this game a chance. A lot of people are saying you went into this with a negative mindset. Not at all. I went into this expecting to enjoy the game. But what I got was just a very hollow experience. And to use the Metroid Prime name, in my opinion, feels like a way to push sales. And you see companies do this. You're seeing this with Metal Gear Survive. You're seeing this with you know, various Resident Evil games um, like Umbrella Core, which just use that universe, but don't use that gameplay style. And they just use it to sell units. So as far as Metroid Prime Federation Force goes, my biggest problems are it just feels like a cash in and I understand Nintendo did something similar to this with the Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes but that game was at least fun this game to me just is not fun and a lot of people are saying well you needed to play it cooperatively in order to get the full experience which I honestly did not but I did that because I had no desire to play it I've played it cooperatively since then with random people online but it's the same levels it's the same exact experience the levels are not well crafted there's no puzzles, there's no exploration, there's no real atmosphere. It feels like you're just doing a laundry list of missions and there's three planets and although, you know, textures are different, they all feel very similar. And I just feel like it, it's kind of weird having to defend a review and I'm not necessarily doing that. I'm just kind of further explaining that I just think Metroid Prime Federation Force is not a good game. If you strip away the Metroid Prime name, it's still not a very enjoyable game. It's very lackluster, it's very, it almost feels rushed in some parts. Blast Ball was very fun. I had a lot of fun with Blast Ball, more so than the full game itself. But Blast Ball was just a deviation. Blast Ball was an extra thing. It's not the core gameplay experience. And the core gameplay experience is lacking. Where are the standard, you know, I understand there's mods and whatnot, but that doesn't really change your gameplay experience. That just changes your user experience. You can equip mods to upgrade your mech suit. And that's, it's not the same as, you know, finding new weapons and stuff. And I don't know. It's just a, it's a very strange game. And I knew that people, there would be people who didn't like it. And I knew that there would be people who liked it. 
Honestly, I'm very surprised at the amount of positive scores it's receiving. It has received also negative scores from places like Destructoid and places like IGN. It's one of those games that's like Star Fox Zero. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. And in the case of Star Fox Zero, I loved Star Fox Zero. I was kind of a minority in that, but I thought Star Fox Zero was a lot of fun. Whereas with Metroid Prime Federation Force, I just think it's a boring, stupid game. Like, it just, it wasn't fun for me at all. And there was so much mission padding and, you know, very little use of the lore. And if people didn't want to expect a Metroid Prime game, why would you use the name? And why would you continue a, why would you use the continuation of the Metroid Prime 3 story? Because that's what this story is, it's a continuation of Metroid Prime 3. So why wouldn't you expect a traditional Metroid Prime experience? It doesn't seem like it would have been that hard. If they would have done something like Metroid Prime Hunters, I think the game would have been a lot better. They tried something different, and in my opinion, they didn't do well with it. It's not like I'm saying doom and gloom for Nintendo, this is the end of Nintendo or something. I am simply one individual. This is simply my opinion. And I did not like the game. And I respect people that like the game. I respect people that are uh, mediocre on the game. That's pretty much what it all boils down to, though. Metroid Prime Federation Force, to me, was very disappointing, and I did not enjoy the game. If you enjoy the game, that's great. So let me know in the comments section below if you picked up Metroid Prime Federation Force, and if you're enjoying it, or what you think about the game. And, you know, keep those questions coming in. I'll be answering one every week, at least one every week. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.